Let me, wait. No, I have to unplug and readjust myself very quickly. Let's do this way around. So, I have been looking for water lilies. And now, here's a beautiful one. We're on cheetah plains still. Now, there were quite a few in baboon pan, but unfortunately, it's not on our traverse. So, I found this one in one of these tiny little pans, which is really nice. And in some areas that I've worked, and especially in Zambia, they used to just completely take over a, any of the little um, tributaries or any little natural pan. You see a lot of jacanas, and of course, these flowers come out. And I'm going to just turn it towards you. You can see it's on its way. It's closing now. So, they're open. When the sun starts to rise, and just as the sun sets, it closes too. But there's something really cool that a guide once showed me, and I'm going to show you too. So I started it because I forgot, and I had to try and practice. So have a look here. You can see I've started to break it. Now I've got to remember which way. So you snap it, and you pull down, and it's quite fibrous, as you can see. And you pull down, so you sort of do opposite. So you go that side, you break, you go that side. Pull it down again. Look how cool. I'm going to show you now. You're probably thinking, what on earth am I doing? So, what this guy did is he proposed to his girlfriend. Well, he's now his wife. And what he did is he hid the ring in the center of this. And he did this whole, he went out, took her out uh, to a beautiful lookout point. And then that is where he proposed to her. And basically what he did is he took the necklace, and they do do this in some African cultures, and put it around her neck. And it's quite nice because the stem is quite heavy. And obviously she turned it around. And as she looked inside like that, she saw the ring. And that's when he got down on one knee. And I thought that was really nice. And I think it does make for a very, very pretty necklace. Don't you think it's quite nice? We, have, we can get the plumbago earrings, but I haven't seen too many plumbagos in cheetah plains. So we will have to go back home because they're growing right outside my room. We'll get plumbago earrings. Maybe we can get Herbie to make a couple of grass bangles. And we'll have a whole traditional outfit this afternoon. But let's keep going. I'm going to see how long I can keep my necklace on. I quite like it. I think it's, it's very nice. Right, off to the open plains we go. Thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca, I can't quite hear you very well over here, but um, it's okay. It's not a problem. Right, we're just about to pop out here in your Cheetah Plains pan. It's actually taken us a long time to get here. Hopefully, it would have been worth the wait. Who's going to be around the corner? Okay, I can't quite hear what Rebecca said, but I think she said something about let's go across to Steph with some Ellie's. <laughs> 